Oprah is one of the richest women in the world and has built herself a massive empire over her many years in the spotlight. These days she's a billionaire and has quite the impressive properties to show for it. Looking at Oprah's life now, you might find it hard to believe that she grew up poor, but it's a true rags to riches story. These days, Oprah owns multiple homes, her main mansion being worth almost 90 million, and was even nicknamed the Promised Land. In this video, we'll be giving you all the details on where Oprah calls home. Oprah Winfrey is a media executive, actress, talk show host, TV producer, philanthropist, and more who's 66 at the time of this recording. She's best known for her talk show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, which was the highest rated TV program of its kind and ran for 25 years. Oprah transitioned her hit show into a media and business empire, to say the least. Oprah launched her cable TV channel, OWN, in 2011 and already had her own Oprah magazine at the time too. Among her many endeavors, she's also co-written five books, invested in Weight Watchers, while being an ambassador for the brand, and signed a deal with Apple's streaming service to release original content such as a book club and much more. Like I mentioned, Oprah was born into poverty in rural Mississippi and faced other hardships when she was young like sexual abuse, discrimination, and more. Despite any obstacles, she kept moving forward and has earned every bragging right. Oprah is an inspiration to many and makes sure she gives back to the world all the time and in big ways. It will not take you that long because we're gonna pay off the <laughs> right. Thank you. Oprah's net worth these days is estimated at almost 3 billion US dollars and she was also the first African American multi-billionaire. I could keep talking about the woman's accomplishments, but instead we'll be looking at the real estate that Oprah buys with some of that money. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to look at where Oprah calls home, including her massive main mansion, the promised land, and her other properties. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Vanessa Bryant and Ben Affleck and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. <laughs> I'll start right away by showing you Oprah's main mansion, also nicknamed The Promised Land. If you're wondering why, this breathtaking property was named this by one of Oprah's friends to symbolize her journey from rags to riches. It's taken from a biblical reference for an African American living in paradise in the modern age whose ancestors were slaves. Looking at her home, you'll see it has every reason to be called The Promised Land. Oprah's dream home is located in one of the richest towns in the United States, Montecito in Southern California. It's located east of Santa Barbara near the beaches of the Pacific and the Santa Ynez Mountains. Definitely some amazing scenery here. She bought the house for 50 million in 2001, but these days its estimated worth is at 88 to 90 million. Pretty crazy. Not to mention in 2016, Oprah bought a 23.26 acre piece of land beside it known as the Seamair Farm for over 28 million. The additional property or farm has a 5,000 square foot ranch style house, a pool, top the line horse stables, caretaker cabin, an equestrian ring, and fruit and avocado orchard. Orchards. On the opposite side of the property is a 44 acre preserve so there wouldn't be any neighbors on that side either. It's safe to say Oprah has bought herself ultimate privacy. The promised land was originally built in 1912 but has undergone extensive renovations to make it the size it is now and of course to suit the taste of the owners. Inside Oprah's mansion it spans about 23,000 square feet of living space and has 6 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms. She also has a lot of fireplaces in her home, 10 to be exact. The home is neo-Georgian style and every room looks classier than the next. The main entrance or her foyer has a winding staircase and high ceilings. Oprah has also filled this entryway with photos of people she loves so she can see them upon first walking in. There are multiple common spaces on the main floor like more than one living room, an elegant dining room and a gourmet kitchen. Other features in Oprah's mansion include a wine cellar, library, home movie theater and much more. Although she rarely gives the public a look into her home, we can assume her master suite is impressive. Of course, she has a massive closet and apparently that's not even the whole of it. Oprah also believes a good bath can soothe the body and soul and keeps her master tub a priority in her home. She used to have a hand carved tub made from a single chunk of onyx, but these days her upgraded tub is especially molded to the shape of her body. We know Oprah has a passion for a good book, so of course she has a reading room. Her personal library has well stocked shelves and is super organized, so apparently she does 
doesn't like anyone else taking things out of order in there. Also on Oprah's property, she has a fully redecorated and elegant guest house as well as a tea house. Her tea house is set right in the middle of the garden and was originally built as a place to cut flowers, but she changed her mind and made it a space for herself. Oprah mentioned that she chose every little detail inside and out for the tea house, even to the color of the gravel path. She also said she comes to the tea house to read, meditate, and enjoy a cup of tea. Makes sense. The rest of Oprah's outdoor space is equally impressive. She refers to her backyard garden as a sanctuary and it really is. The lawns are perfectly manicured and there are bunches of flowers all over, including roses, lilies, and more. Of course, she also has gorgeous views of both the ocean and the mountain. There are also interesting and meaningful statues throughout the yard, one of which is a woman on a flower-covered path that's referred to as Hallelujah Lane. Oprah made this path in honor of her grandmother and it resembles the one that was in front of her house growing up. I'm pretty sure that Oprah's pool is located on the neighboring farm property that she purchased instead of the main one. Either way, the large pool has palm trees surrounding it, offering some shade and a nice patio as well. Her add-on property, aside from all the horse stables and other features, has a koi pond for some additional peace. So apparently Oprah owns about 7 properties and I'm not surprised since she's a multi-billionaire. I can't show you all of them but we'll take a look at a couple. Her most recent purchase is actually her Orca's Island home. Back in 2018, Oprah decided to purchase a mansion on Washington State's beautiful Orca's Island, one of the 4 largest islands in the San Juan Islands between Seattle and Vancouver. This compound was named the Madron Eagle Estate and is completely private with 2 waterfront pieces of land spanning about 43 acres. There is also about 3,000 feet of shoreline. Oprah put down about 8.2 million for this expansive property and it was clearly made to impress. Her Orca's Island getaway measures 7,303 square feet of living space and has 4 beds, 3 full baths and 2 half baths. The main residence is 3 floors and made with stone accents throughout as well as a luxury cabin like vibe. The main living space is open concept and has a high ceiling with exposed beams and a lounge area with stone fireplace. There's also a dining area, a massive kitchen with skylights and built in pizza oven. Oprah also has a library corner with floor to ceiling bookshelves which I'm sure is a feature she loves. Also on the lower level there's a home office complex, wine cellar and a tasting room. Moving to the upper floor you'll find most of the bedrooms as well as a gigantic games room. And that's not all, of course Oprah also needs room for a traveling entourage which the gallery house is perfect for. The contemporary guest house on the property is just under 3,000 square feet and has 4 beds and 3 baths, enough space for everyone. It's set on a high cliff perched above a private beach. On Oprah's property, she also has a tea house set underneath the trees and overlooking the water as well as a huge barn structure with a woodworking studio on the top level and a gym and yoga studio on the lower level. Seems to me like this estate has everything you'd ever need. There's also a sauna, a garden, private hiking trails, a pond and stream and of course almost a mile of private beach. Oprah's home is kept super private not only thanks to the surrounding gates but also from the thick trees and forests. In 2016, Oprah also bought a home in Telluride, Colorado for 14 mil. Apparently she'd already bought an additional 60 acres of land in Telluride but it wasn't developed yet so she needed another mansion. Oprah's Colorado mansion is a high tech home that used to be owned by businessman Bob Wall and he spent 5 years designing the place to a T. It sits on 3.23 acres of land and inside spans 8,706 square feet. There are 5 beds, 6.5 spa like baths, a chef's kitchen and plenty of expansive living spaces. The mountain retreat is hidden in the wilderness but is full of top of the line tech features. For instance, in the winter, radiant heat systems make sure the driveways are snow and ice free. Indoor plants can be watered through an iPad remote and there's even a limestone tub worth 70k that regulates the water temperature. Oprah's Colorado Getaway also has a home gym, a games room with a wet bar, a movie theater, a 7 person indoor hot tub with retractable windows, a guest house and a 3 car garage. One of the coolest features has got to be the custom glass bridge that arches over the living room and connects the home to the master suite. The wine cellar in this place is also something else. It's actually a 56 foot long wine tunnel that holds 1600 bottles of wine, over the top to say the least. Oprah's house has 6 decks that maximize the view and one is even in the treetops, not to mention a 35 foot high observation deck complete with a fire pit. 
Just looking at those three properties, you can see how extravagant Oprah's homes are. From her main mansion in Montecito, dubbed the Promised Land, her Orcas Island retreat, and her high-tech Colorado mansion, the woman has it all. Aside from these three, Oprah owns a gorgeous retreat in Hawaii on the island of Maui that she completely redecorated and made into a paradise. There she also maintains a huge tropical farm too. Some say she also bought another house in Montecito that used to belong to Jeff Bridges and a property on the shores of Antigua. Considering her net worth, I'm not surprised she's invested in so much real estate. Looking at Oprah's homes, which did you like the best? My personal favorites are her Colorado mansion and the one on Orcas Island. I love the luxury cabin design and the surrounding land on both of these places. Okay guys, now I'll read out a few comments from past videos. On our Camila Cabello house tour, Thebo Merkins commented saying, Can you make a house tour of Sniper Wolf or is there already one and I'm just an idiot? Love your channel, by the way. Thank you, and you aren't an idiot. We do have one from last year on the channel, so check it out. On our Post Malone house tour, Don Apprentice wrote, Love the Utah mansion. I didn't picture him as a modern style home lover, but it is gorgeous. I really liked his home too, and it's in such a beautiful spot. Finally, I got a request from Mariah Carey house tour, and I've seen a few of you guys requesting her, so definitely keep your eyes out for that soon. All right guys, that's all I could find on Oprah's mansions, including her Montecito home worth 90 mil, her Colorado high-tech mansion and more. What did you guys think of her homes? What was your fave parts? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna chat and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.